doing this shit again. This shit again. This shit again. I'm a little bit unholy. So what so's everyone else? Welcome back to another video where we're, we're going to be roasting somebody because people can't just get off my back. Um, I'm going to try and not be too angry about this because honestly, I just feel sad. Um, I tried to look up Asadullah Ali. He doesn't have a Wikipedia page yet. Um, because I wanted to know how old he was because I don't, I, I'm assuming he's 30 something, or possibly even 40 something. And I couldn't understand why a 30 something year old man decided to take his whatever the hell frustration he had out on a 24 year old. I don't know why. He really got on my back about things that weren't relevant to what I was talking about, but he, he really got on my back about those things. And I wanted to do a sin score. Now, I kind of feel bad for doing a sin score on Asadullah Ali because I feel like he's he's projecting a lot in the comments that he made. Um, I'll attach like... <sighs> I'll attach like all the all the screenshots in a little bit. I'll just throw them on screen. Um, but let's just talk about him for a second. Now, I didn't know too much about him before, like, this whole thing happened. And, you know, it probably was a good thing I didn't know anything about him. But I thought that if he was born a Muslim and he had the name Asadullah Ali, or Asadullah Ali, um, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of not his fault. But seeing as he's a convert and he named himself Asadullah Ali, the Lion of God Ali. Like, you didn't go for Abdullah, you didn't go for Abdurrahman, you know, you didn't go for Harith, you didn't go for, like, the good name, like, the best possible name. You, you went for Lion of God. Who do you think you are? <laughs> There's only one Lion of God, and he was the actual Ali, you know? Like, cousin of the prophet ali like son-in-law of the prophet ali like that ali you know fourth caliph ali like that ali i don't who do you think you are like i i try to explain this to people because i did not understand like i could not imagine myself being so full of myself having converted calling myself a lioness like really really who the fuck <laughs> Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Like, ser and then, like, all of the rest of it makes sense. Like, the rest, after I, like, I understood that he was a convert who then named himself the Lion of God. I, the rest of this kind of makes sense because the arrogance really, like, comes out of all the comments. Because they don't address the points that I'm actually making. They're picking on really small semantic issues and some of them are, are like non-issues we'll get into it though um as much as this show is called sin scores i'm not going to be counting scores i'm not going to be counting sins because i feel like i mean y'all can count at home i'm not going to be giving a score at the end of this because i just feel terribly bad picking on someone who's so insecure so i don't want to say an actual number at the end of this and i won't be like going along and ticking scores i'm just going to be making comments throughout but for the sake of a title this is going to be a sin score i've done it on a couple of people i've done it on different family members of mine um one i did for ali dawa uh and there's a, f a few others i don't know i can't remember i don't keep track um but we're gonna get on with this um <laughs> oh another thing to bring up is that once you sent your fucking lynch mob on me asadullah then you you have a lot of like i know i have weird followers uh, i have a couple of weird followers but you have some weird 
followers like really misogynistic really like there was this one guy who was ultra obsessed with my period his name is Muhammad al Halabi he run he does like blogs for blogging theology on WordPress um, which is a which is a blog I used to follow when I was a Muslim and then later on I continue to like read some of their stuff but he got really obsessed with my period and I don't know what <laughs> I don't know why uh, I kind of mentioned it in the last video I did because I'm still like freaked out by it and somehow I'm the weirdo for talking about a completely natural body process but he's not a weirdo for making a collage of every time I bring up my period <sighs> I think most people understood that when I said that Asadullah Ali was on his period, that most people understood that it was a joke. Uh, I mean, a backhanded joke, like a like one that was meant to poke fun at you. But I think every uh, most people understood. Like this guy literally thought you start. I don't know. I don't know. You just have some weird followers. Is all I'm saying. I'm just making you aware. If you're watching this, G grasping from the kind of person you are, you probably are. But anyways, um, so your kind of beef started with me because over the name of your institute. Now, for context, the first line of the comment that I made, it was about misogyny and mistreatment of women. Like the whole comment in general was about misogyny over the years um, throughout Islam and th the things that Islam teaches and throughout Islamic history and the way that women are looked down upon in Islam. That was what the comment was about. But the first line of the comment was, you think I haven't read al Yakin apologetics before because the person who I was talking to asked, like linked me um, Yakin Institute's like thing and now because of your response Asadullah I'm going to exclusively refer to your institute as Al Yakin because you got so pissy about it you said it's Yakin Institute not Al Yakin and we're an independent academic research re <laughs> research research institute hosting some of the top traditional and secular scholars in Islamic studies. Nice ad, by the way. Um, so no, I don't believe you've read anything from the institute. You don't even know the name of. Try harder. And then in the, a separate tweet, he said, I mean, seriously, who the heck even thinks we'd be called Al Yakin? People who put Al in front of every, every Arabic word they see are simply posturing for their own ignorance. Okay. I'm going to read again the sentence that I said. It was, you think I haven't read al Yakin apologetics before. Now, I don't know about you, but I was clearly saying, I was clearly referencing Yakin Institute in a really sarcastic way. You, you guys can correct me, like my audience, his audience, your, anybody, anybody can come here and y'all can correct me, but it's obviously... A sarcastic reference to Yakin Institute that I called it Ali Yakin. Now, even if I didn't, even if it was a case of me just being a dumbass and calling it Ali Yakin Institute, I wasn't like the meat of my tweet wasn't about Yakin Institute. It was about misogyny, which you didn't address at all. Um, so I'm guessing that Yakin Institute doesn't have a bunch of blog posts about sarcasm or staying on the point um you know nice deflection nice way of just bringing all your trolls to my page to tell me that i'm an idiot because you don't understand sarcasm um you know points for that i guess also um i don't know how much arabic you know because you don't have a wikipedia page for me to like read up on you um but i studied arabic for five years I can still read it fluently. I can still understand it more or less like my I wouldn't say that I'm the best in Arabic. I'm certainly not fluent in it. I can't speak any of it, but I have like a, a, a beginner to intermediate grasp of Arabic. Um, so I don't put Al in front of every Arabic character and I've spoken to Arabs about this specific comment that you made and I told them would it make sense in an Arabic sentence and they said yes you can either refer to Yakin Institute as Al Yakin Institute in an Arabic sentence or just Yakin Institute it works. So um, I have never ever in my life seen someone so triggered by the Arabic equivalent of the word the in my life like I've never ever 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 and I'm really disappointed that you didn't actually address what I was talking about. And in addition to that, 
Yakin Institute's articles are so frequently sent to me. So frequently sent to me. I've consumed so much of your blog that I, I'm honestly sick of it. Um, they're filled with arguments that I used to make as a Muslim and don't have any I don't have any grounds. Like arguments that I used to make when I was a 14 year old Salafi, right? And I have like a blog of my own where I used to make similar arguments. Um, like when I was a Muslim. I'm gonna have to review it someday. But it's filled with those arguments, like arguments that I have made, I have heard for several years. And you're really going to sit there at your computer, tapping away with your petty little fingers and tell me that I haven't read your garbage blogs. Okay, so the next one that he made of me he quote tweeted me and some of these like tweets were tweeted twice because once they were replies and another time they were quote tweets so i mean for those of you who are counting at home like i said i'm not counting but those of you who are counting at home some of these tweets get double points because he posted them twice what he was so proud of them that he put them once as a response and then once as a quote tweet so the next one he did was I had um, quote tweeted him, I think he had made like something he thought was funny about ex-Muslims and reading Quran and I had re quote tweeted him by saying that my Kirat skills are divine, that we have a podcast where I recite Quran um, and I told him to sit down because that's what I do to everybody. Um, and he quote tweeted me in response and said, the fact that you don't understand the difference between Kirat, ways of recitation and Tafsir comprehension is indicative that the only thing divine here is how easy it is to ridicule your ignorance now you keep bringing up ignorance and it's actually really funny that you do that because it's clearly projection um, I would argue that all of us are ignorant I'm certainly ignorant like I'm not denying the fact that I am ignorant I am ignorant in the vast vats of information that exist in this world in this universe of everything that exists I am a fucking idiot okay I want to keep that position. I want, like, I am ignorant and I never want to view myself as an intellectual because that would literally stop me from learning. But you're clearly insecure about being ignorant when you are ignorant. And the, like, the podcast that I was referencing in that tweet, we actually do Qarat as well as Tafsir. We, as an ex-Muslim and with two non-Muslims who are really, really interested in the Quran and what it has to say, um, I do the Kirat portion of the show, but we also go through the Tafsir, through several ones. We go through Al Jalalain, we go through Tafsir Amin Kathir, we go through um, several others. I think Ibn Malik is another one, but that show is called the Gin and Tonic Show, and I was on there. You know, I think they're taking a little break now, but I was on on several of their episodes, and they got me on as a Qari. So, for all your bullshit about me not knowing the difference, bitch, I went to Islamic school. Like, you know this. I told you this. I went to an Islamic school. I was taught both, you know, Tajweed and how to recite the Quran, as well as Tafsir. You're acting as though I'm ignorant when you know nothing about me. I've spent so much of my life dedicated to Islam that it's honestly offensive anytime someone says oh well you didn't really practice the religion or you didn't really study the religion when I spent so much time studying it. If 10 years is not enough time to study Islam then Islam is not a true religion and y'all's religion is too difficult for anyone to grasp and no one is a true Muslim. So fuck y'all, move along. Um, the next comment is I can't remember what I said to him because I just have the screenshots and he deleted a bunch of his like tweets because he realized that they were stupid um uh, but I can't remember what I said I think he was arguing with Jimmy Bangash which y'all know I have a problem with anyone getting on Jimmy's case because I love him he's one of my favorite people in the world like you think that if that man was straight I wouldn't be on that right now like Anyways, um, so he responded to me. I can't remember what the conversation was, but he responded to me saying, you're coming back for round two of lectures. Cute of you to think that tweets are lectures. Cute of you. Cute. And then he ridicules me for not knowing what a lecture is when he's literally calling his tweets about how I'm ignorant 
lectures. <laughs> you're coming back for round two of lectures. Perhaps you'll be telling us next that you understand Islam because your parents fed you shawarma. Oh, that's an Arabic word. You know what to do, Faye. Add the al. He put that in parentheses because he doesn't know how to, he doesn't know how to joke or he thinks that I won't get the joke when I'm the one making the jokes and he's the one not getting them. Um, I'm always the one making the jokes. Um, so first of all, he references his tweets as lectures when they aren't lectures. Um, they're, they're really dumb, really stupid, really petty and not even in like the fun way petty, which is why I'm kind of reluctant to be angry in this video. Um, they're just like child, like playground petty. Um, perhaps you'll be telling us next you understand Islam because your parents fed you shawarma. I don't think I've ever had a shawarma. Is that sad? I've never had a shawarma. I mean, that I know that's not the point of the tweet, but you bringing it up is like... Where do you get off talking about my education, my intelligence, my parents when you don't fucking know me? You got angry because you thought I in intentionally got your institute's name wrong and then you advertised it like and again I studied Arabic for five years so y'all can fuck off um and then he made a stupid dumb joke you know what to do Fay. he spelled it f-e-y and then in parentheses add the al which I thought was Ha ha funny, like it's so bad it's not even a dad joke. Like a dad joke would at least get like a, a pity response, but this doesn't even get that. Um, next comment, I can't remember what I said to him, but he got really butt hurt. Um, he said, you're right, you wouldn't know what a lecture is. It ain't tweets, bitch. It ain't tweet. Lectures are not tweets. Um, you're not capable of appreciating an education because you lack one. Suppose that's why your idea of a career is working for an impotent non-profit organization as editor. Impressive. And then he put slash S, which I'm assuming means sarcasm, which he didn't need to put. Um, so he said, <laughs> tweets on lectures. Okay, um, you're, in ca you're not capable of appreciating an education because you lack one. You know what? I'll give you credit. I do lack an education and you know why? I think this is what I said. I said something like um, being encased in a bubble because of Islam, like an Islamic bubble, was the reason why I wasn't given an open-minded, a full, a secular education. I was only given an Islamic education. So I do lack one in a sense. But I've only been learning since Islam, like since leaving, since leaving Islam, I've only been learning about the rest of the world as outside of Islam, you know, like I'm doing my degree now, I'm going to plenty of lectures, so I'm very aware of what they are. They are not tweets, bitch. They're not tweets. <laughs> I don't know how many times I need to say that, but I am surprised that you think that your tweets are so legendary that they're lectures. Uh, you need to calm down, okay? With your name, with your attitude, with your projecting, like with every, you need to tone it down by like 70% because I don't know who you think you are. Um, but he like, replied this tweet and then also quote tweeted it because he was so impressed with himself that he had to show his entire fucking audience and then I think he deleted this um because he was like I think he realized that it it looked really bad um and then the last part of it is your idea of a career is working for an impotent non-profit organization as editor like I have never seen first of all it's not a career I'm I have a voluntary position at Faithless Hijabi because Zara is one of my friends and I want to do some good I've always wanted to do some good um my two sectors that I've worked in is in education and in the third sector or the charitable sector because those are the ones that I fit in with the best um I've never seen someone shit on somebody else because they work for a non-profit um like I, I don't know I don't know why you would say that or why you would act as though that's something bad um faithless hijabi this is a little bit of an ad Faithless Hijabi supports Muslim women as well as non-Muslim women who live in misogynistic families, who live in misogynistic communities, who face misogyny. And it gives them an outlet to talk about it and share their stories and make them feel less alone. Yes, we're a very new charity. We only became a charity this year. So I don't know what you expect from us. 
but your bitterness really shows your like projection for how much you've accomplished i'm 24 i only started working in 2016 because before that i was housebound like i was in a really bad situation i wasn't allowed to pursue an education in university i wasn't allowed to go out and work i built all of my work experience up from volunteering at I think it was like five different places. I worked with St. Luke's Hospice, my local community center, my local um, library that wasn't being funded by the council at the time. I still don't know if they're being funded by the council. I worked in a youth group. I worked with so many different charities in the first year of me being like able to work or employed. Um, and then I started working for uh, an education um like agency they supply TAs and teachers to different schools and I've like I've I know I've come a long way and you don't know me and yet you're still asserting that I'm a failure somehow and that really shows me that you're insecure in yourself um and that's sad like I hope I hope that you don't feel insecure in yourself um because that's a shitty way to feel but it's also really shitty of you to make someone else feel like that you know what I'm saying? And I think that's why you deleted, the, I mean, I hope that's why you deleted the comment because it's a really shitty thing to say. But then you made two other comments that we're gonna go, get into um, that I personally think are worse. Uh, <laughs> so the next one you made is, stop blaming, stop blaming Islam for your failures in life. Women who were far more practicing than yourself went on to do great things. Take responsibility of your for your own life and stop pointing fingers, grow up. For the record, I have never blamed Islam as an ideology for my failures. First of all, I don't think I have failures because I've come a long way in a year, especially this year. Um, but I've never blamed Islam as an ideology for my failures. I've blamed Islam for many other things, for pedophilia, for child marriages, for all kinds of things. But personally, like I'm on record in several podcasts as saying that if I could turn back time, I would not stop myself from becoming a Muslim because it taught me loads of things. It helped me develop. It made it's a part of who I am and it's it's, it's a part of how I've grown. I've never blamed Islam explicitly for my failures. Um, I have said, what I said to you was that Islam is put me in a bubble. My community, my friends, my family, the only kinds of people that I hung out with were Muslims. The school that I went to was an Islamic school. The place that I like chilled out was in duxis and it was in madrasas. It was in all those places. I don't know why I said madrasas. It's madrasas or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did not say that Islam was the reason why I'm suffering. I said that Islam put me in a bubble and it prevented me, the bubble prevented me from receiving a secular education which would have been beneficial now. I'm currently doing a psychology degree. If I had a more grounded education in science, it would be much easier for me to go on. But since I don't have that foundation, it's way more difficult for me to like process some of the information learn how to write reports things like that it's it's just one of those things and that's what I was trying to tell you but you instead decided to call me a failure <laughs> outright and also you say that women who are far more practicing than yourself went on to do great things how do you how do you know how practicing I was you've known me all of what 20 minutes tops um how like how do you know how practicing i was for you to say that i feel like that's extremely judgmental of you um i know how practicing i was i don't think anyone with the way that i was practicing practicing islam any woman would be able to achieve much in my opinion I'm, that's just my opinion don't fucking shoot me it's just my opinion but for you to like assert that you knew how practicing i was and then say that women were fa who are far more practice how do you know how do you know girl how do you know like you don't have a wikipedia page but you've done shit i have done barely anything how do you know how practicing i was unless you've been like stalking my content and or like stalking my life which is even creepier I, i'm not saying you did but like i'm just i'm just curious um and then you said take responsibility for your own life stop pointing fingers i did take responsibility for my own life 
I took responsibility for my own life, 2015, August, when I reported my father and I got the fuck out of Dodge. Okay, I left an abusive home and I am a self-made person. You can't take that away from me. And your, your attempts are stupidly futile. You can't take that away from me. Um, you know, I left with no valid passport, with no work experience, barely an education. And I am living by myself in one of the most expensive cities in the world, in a country that I was not born in, um, you know, with... A, you know, and I'm struggling. I'm not going to say I'm not struggling. I am struggling. But I am a self-made woman. I've accomplished so many things since then. Since 2015, I've been homeless. And for someone who's a convert who also experienced something similar, you, I would expect you, same as Ali Dawa, I would expect you to empathize with us when you're just sitting here shaming us because we no longer identify with the religion you converted to. You experienced a level of ostracism, maybe not the same, maybe it's not equal, either way, but you experienced it, and it's really sad that you can't empathize with that. Like, my lips got stuck, that you can't empathize with that. It's really, really fucking sad. It's really sad. And then your last comment was, grow up. I have been an adult for most of my life. Okay, I'm the oldest of six siblings. My mother passed away when I was 18. 2013, she passed away. I had to raise four minors and someone who was just becoming an adult, my siblings, five siblings of mine. And I had to take care of my father who is extremely mentally unstable. You're gonna ask me to grow up? Bitch, I've been growing up my whole life, okay? Don't, <laughs> Again, you're like doing this thing where you act like you know me when you really, really don't. And you, you've invited all these like really disgustingly weird people to my page and you, you're like liking their comments and you're like enjoying the attention. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. As a public figure, this is actually really, really shameful. Um, and the last and final comment that I wanted to go over, my camera's going to die in like 10 minutes. Um, he said, no, the moment you stopped believing did nothing for your personality. Bitch, it did everything for my personality. It, it brought me out of my shell. It gave me an appreciation for my life. And on that, po on that topic, at least I have one. At least my personality isn't driven by the institute that I write for because that's what you seem the most wounded by um like all these personal attacks are based on the fact that i said al yakin instead of yakin institute um at least i can hold my own and and people can resonate with me unlike you where people just praise you for being a petty bitch online i'm a petty bitch as well so i can relate i can relate wanting to do that and i respect you for that like i respect the pettiness but also you're so terrible at holding your own and actually like making an argument that i'm making and you've just made it so personal as if like me saying al yakin was such an was such a personal attack on you when that wasn't even the focus of the comment i made um at least i have a personality and people know that i have a personality um you on the other hand questionable from the like 20 minutes that we had a discourse it really seems as though your personality is really wrapped up in the institute that you write for or speak for or whatever the hell you do i don't care um he goes on to say you're still compensating and you're still a failure because you continue to blame islam no i don't because you're too afraid to face the reality of these of those failures yourself I'm 24 years old. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like I'm okay to fucking make some mistakes. I don't believe in failure. I don't believe that anyone is truly a failure until they give up. Um, you know, I am, I'm, I'm I'm a stoic. I love just getting on with things. I don't like sitting on the fence. I like moving forward. I don't believe that anything that I have done is a, is, is a mark of failure. The only true failure is giving up. Um, and again, you keep acting as though 
you keep acting as though you know who I am and you know what I've gone through and you've no you you have any idea what I've done um you don't um and I don't blame Islam I would never have changed the past I would never I would not change a single thing about my past because my past has made me exactly who I am and I love who I am right now um and I always I always address the things that you know prevent me from doing things I'm always meticulous in criticizing myself <laughs> it's one of it's one of my best and worst traits is that I can sit here and like pick the things that I don't like about myself and I want to change um and the fact that you know while pretending that you know me and addressing me as though you know me you have decided to use such a major trigger for me failure you've and it is because I and I've talked about this at length on my channel. Oh, this was another thing. You have like a follower who's shaming me for having mental health issues. Go and get it together. Um, but I have like anxiety, depression, and I have a bunch of other stuff. But one of my biggest triggers is feeling like a failure. And the fact that you decided to call me a failure, not once, but several times, not, not just in your responses, but also in your quote tweets, is actually really, really insensitive. Um, and I'm not one to get hurt by strangers, you're a stranger, but for future reference, if you were to go after someone else, like everybody loves some petty drama, okay, I'm not going to stop you from doing that, I think that, I think that's fine, because I do it as well, like if somebody's being really petty with me, I'll, I'll step up the petty as well, I get it, like get down with your bad self, but I think it's really upsetting or you know, even disappointing. It's really disappointing that you would use something as heavy as failure, which is like a trigger, not just for me, but for many, many people, as a way to shame them, especially when they come from backgrounds where, you know, there's been abuse, where there's there's been violence, there's been things like this. I think it's really, really really just disappointing so that was the last of the comments I don't really have much more to say um I'm sorry if you guys wanted me to be more angry I just can't be because it's so obvious how insecure Asadullah is and look even though you were like a cunt to me like even though you were a cunt to me I genuinely hope that whatever insecurities you're going through you solve it like I'm not trying to be shady I'm not like no tea no shade I'm not trying to be problematic here I'm genuinely saying to you genuinely that I hope that you get your shit sorted because it's it's really obvious <laughs> is what it is um you can say whatever you want to me my platform has always been an open platform I've always said that you know you want to leave me some hate comments leave them like I don't care I'm one of those people that you can say anything to and for the most part unless I like really know you personally it's just going to slide off my back so you're welcome to share your hate comments with me um they very rarely affect me and you know if you need that punching bag let me be that punching bag but I just hope you sort out your shit because it's it's sad it's really sad um, I'm not trying to be condescending. I'm not you. I'm not trying to be condescending. I'm genuinely, I felt the same way about Ali Dawa the first time I spoke to him in person. Like, I'm so, and I hate feeling like this for people. I hate feeling pity for people, but I can't be dishonest about how I feel. I've, I've really tried to correct that in myself because I, I, not that I'm dishonest, I just hide the way I feel a lot. And this is how I feel about you. So I really, really hope that you get your shit sorted. Um, and remember, like, even though I'm not a Muslim, let me give you some nasiha. Uh, arrogance is a really bad trait to have, you know, Islamically, as well as just as a person, you, you come off as really arrogant and it's, it's not the best trait to have, you know, like pride is the robe of Allah. For those of you who studied Islam, um, you shouldn't be tugging, you know, playing tug of war with God. For yeah, that's just, that's my two cents. Uh, I think my camera cut out and then started again. I'm sorry. I... Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave me a like, share, comment, do what you have to do. You know the drill. It's YouTube. Um, if you if you didn't like the video, and I assume that some of you won't, 
like the video for whatever reason please tell me why uh like i said this is an open platform you can leave as many opinions as you want um good bad evil ugly i don't care leave them down in the comments below roast me on twitter that is my most active platform um and you know feel free to dislike unsubscribe whatever you got to do get your shit out you know life's too short not to let your shit out um if you would like to support me monetarily i have a patreon i've recently added tiers if you have opinions on what you want in those tiers please let me know um you know can never have too many patrons and if you you know that's more like a monthly thing if you would prefer to give like a one-off donation i also have my pay paypal de details in the description below um my Macmillan cancer campaign is finally over. We managed to raise £210. Thank you so much for donating your hard-earned money to a wonderful cause. I'm sure it's going to benefit loads of people in the future for those who suffer cancer and the families of those sufferers. Um, so thank you so much for doing that. It was a long, hard month of sobriety. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will be back on Friday and we will hopefully, 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 because I think the live streams are finally working. We're going to be live streaming um, my 1000 subscriber special and Alicia's going to be there. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what we have planned because I want it to be a surprise. We're just going to have some fun. It's like not going to be anything serious. Um, and yeah, if you have video suggestions for me, let me know and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.